Hello everyone, welcome to Simproved, Fry speaking here and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. Today we are going to build a botanical garden and I built this in Brightchester for a potential new save file where also my magical bookshop is kind of in and I was thinking maybe turning Brightchester which is the university pack into this gas lamp fantasy steampunkish Victorian sort of world. And there is this very prominent lot in the middle. There is, I think, the library on it. We're gonna build a library, but it just for me makes more sense to put it somewhere else. This is something I was like, oh, oh, I would love to have a botanical garden, especially from this era, like think 1800 something, 1840 or something, right? Like, there were lots of public botanical gardens all around Europe being built around this around these lines. And they have this still kind of French Renaissance, Baroque kind of neoclassical feel. I know I just put like a bunch of styles together, but this is basically what we're going to do here in this build as well. So since we have, of course, limited pack options, right? We're going to use a lot of Discover University since we are already in Brightchester. And then I thought we're gonna mix it with the Oasis Courtyard kit and the Greenhouse Haven kit or whatever it was called and create this really cool tropical palm house botanical garden thing. And I thought this is maybe for like this, I don't know, like botanist society. And uh, in my own gameplay, maybe in the end, uh, there will be like some really fancy soirees and kind of balls inside of this tropical house. So yeah, that was like the main thing. And I already knew that I wanted this to have a very kind of... Can you remember that like during Baroque, like Rococo times, they all started doing chinoiserie buildings and like imitating Chinese culture and arts. I know lots of parks have, even in Europe, like some Chinese and Japanese pagodas and stuff like that. Like people were obsessed back then. And I thought maybe we're going to do this the same, but like with the Arabian, Moroccan kind of maybe Indian inspired colonies, the colonies, something like that, you know, and like kind of mix everything together and kind of see what's what's happening then. So we're going to use lots and lots of different architectural styles. But since this is like my fantasy, safe file you know I personally just didn't bother also I didn't want to use any CC as I always never use CC in all of my builds and uh, yeah this is gonna work fine so this is two stories high the third story is just gonna be like this dome that I wanted to have to give it a little bit more shape and then basically almost all of the roofs is somehow glass it's either a glass roof from the greenhouse haven kit a greenhouse kit what was it called well, the kit with the greenhouses has the best roof texture, in my opinion. And we're also going to use the island living glass floor as the ceiling. <laughs> so we're going to have in the interior, going to have two stories because I wanted again to have like this really open space, but still with a, like a gallery walk around the whole building. And I wanted, you know, to have some water in the middle of the house. There's like a bridge over it. I apologize for Gina barking in the background. I hope you can't hear her. But yeah, basically this meant that we have lots and lots of windows all around, of course. And I think I'm gonna use a lot of, of course, romantic garden stuff pack because the romantic garden stuff pack, actually, I was surprised, honestly. I mean, I love this pack, especially for this kind of style of building. You know, they have the windows in this pack. I totally forgot about them and they are perfect. These are absolutely perfect, they are perfect for this era. And they come also in white. And I was like, okay, so then I could make the interior with lots of white. Like I don't have to think about any swatches. I tried before, I tried to go like dark brown. So it's a little bit more steampunky and a little bit darker. But then again, I thought like, ah, I like the interior being white and then having basically the palm trees and all of the lush greenery being like the pop of color, like the main attraction anyway. So I didn't want to take away from that. So in the interior design, we're going to use lots of the Oasis Courtyard spandrels 
and columns. So we have this very cool ornamentation on the ceilings and we're gonna use some of the glasses of the Greenhouse Haven kit that we also used in the dome. So it has this kind of built-in pagoda kind of thing that also holds up the ceiling. I don't know if this makes any sense, but it is a really, really smart structure. I was really happy and very pleased with my whole idea about this. Like I was like, this kind of looks a little bit insane, but also this could actually, like by normal standards, maybe even work. I don't know. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's what I was going for. I was like, okay, we're just gonna put up all of the things together that kind of look Victorian, Rococo, French Renaissance kind of stuff. And then let's see what happens. Like, let's go crazy. This is The Sims 4. <laughs> What well, a time to be alive, let's go. So yeah, basically um, what for me was like the most important thing is of course that it like fits this whole theme of like Brightchester and like uh, this kind of official public building, etc. And since I wanted to have this whole Baroque kind of idea, or Rococo idea with like lots of ornamentation, I knew we couldn't do like little cherubs and golden patterns and stuff because we don't have that in the game. But I was like, hey, we could just stuff lots of the vampire half columns. There are, there are these little tiny column stubs and you can put your statues on there. And I just used them in the roof line to have that as a sandstone kind of ornamentation because it all looks kind of like limestone, sandstone kind of thing made out of that material and then I just thought okay we're gonna put the statues on there and the statues are like maybe a little bit cartoony but also these buildings have statues and that's when I said when I realized okay we're just gonna use lots and lots of statues like all around let's go this is cool this is really cool <laughs> so basically this is a lot of repetition this is placing tons of windows tons of the same columns and then the same statues and little gargoyles kind of things that hold up the little statues, etc. Like it's a finicky, if you really zoom in, you can see all of the details that I've placed. I'm really, really happy with it. Like it's, it's a dreamy, dreamy, dreamy build for sure. And then once I was done with the whole structure, I still had to connect this whole lot to the exterior all around it. And this slot on Brightchester is not symmetrical. Like this one, it's on this half circle and the half circle like in the world, what they placed on it is not symmetrical. And it was tickling my OCD like so hard. I was like, ah. Okay, but what I could implement is to have these diagonal walkways that go over the streets in like to this lot. I was like, yeah, why not extend them into the lot, you know, and kind of make it look like it fits. Really, really sad that we don't have the tiles around this lot, like as a real floor tile in the game. I, at least I couldn't find it. The most similar is like the vampire pack stone path. But that is still too dark and doesn't have like the exact same swatch and it's also a little bit too big. So uh, yeah, just in general, I think public um, paving is uh, still, even with the update that we got through Horse Ranch, subpar in this game. <laughs> and sometimes I'm like, oh, this is so easy. I could just recolor and resize it. You know, it's so easy to, to just do that. But then I would start creating CC and I was like, yeah, then I will never finish anything that I'm doing. But like, maybe that's, that's like a thing to just at least come up with all of the recolors that we would need to um, have the sets fit, you know, just in general. So basically we have the, I kind of think the paths look a little bit like the Union Jack. And I was like, yeah, I mean, Brightchester is like supposed to be England, Oxford or something, right? Like, so why not? And also fits like my narrative to go with like the steampunk Victorian London kind of thing, maybe, or European town. Let's just call it European town. And yeah, so it uh, really, really fits. And we have lots and lots of statues in the front. I thought maybe these are like the botanical muses or maybe nymphs aren't nymphs like yeah and they all have names probably i can't remember but uh, yeah Let, these are nymphs maybe you know like some greek roman kind of storyline 
you can go there with the with the statues and then basically we have some of these planters are from debug that you can see there i put them in kind of like as crowd dividers if that makes sense sometimes you can see them in uh, castle grounds and stuff like that especially public buildings in the middle of the city and they used it for exactly that reason around in the world of Brightchester. So I'm just going to copy that idea. I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's the exact same planter. So we're going to use that here as well. So it blends even better. And then I filled in these triangle hedges with some hydrangeas because these were all around and some smaller, small, like small down. What's it like? Size down, <laughs> size down trees to make it kind of look a little bit more lush and you know it's the main protagonist let's just say it like that I, I, I know I say this about all of my lots but I mean you know <laughs> I want this to be as detailed as possible so uh, this is what's happening I personally think it looks way better that way you always can expect from me to have like really detailed builds and then finally I was done with the exterior so we can now move into the stuff that I've been preparing for the last, I don't know, week or so. And it's basically, as you can see, surrounded by these columns and spandrels from the Courtyard Oasis kit, which make this absolutely beautiful arches. And I was so obsessed with them that I integrated them as well, like on upstairs with the gallery and so on. And basically I just chose white whenever there was a white swatch because all the other swatches like the browns are not really right and then I wanted to go with like the sandstone, sandstone limestone color also wasn't right and not really fitting and like the lighting was off and stuff like that so I was like okay then let's go white okay okay we're gonna go white and in the end it's also the best background in my opinion even when I was like <laughs> taking pictures on the inside like just to get like a feel of the whole build to kind of see what that looks like so it was interesting so I already knew that you could walk all around it so to speak so I was sure that in the middle I could put in like a swimming pool it is a swimming pool I think in the end now your sims can't reach it I first thought it's gonna just gonna be funny chaos that your sims can reach it and actually swim in it and while I was playtesting with this, your sims can't not, you know, they, there will be enough plants all around, etc. that your sims can't get there. That I just thought it's gonna be funny if they would could swim in there, but yeah. So basically what I couldn't do is put like, do like the bridge trick. You know, the second level move down kind of thing because we were already inside of a structure and then it doesn't work. So we have to create a bridge with platforms and kind of make it look like there is like a bridge over it and yeah basically that's what I'm doing as you can see here and then I wanted to have the plants all of all around the pools that I created basically meaning that they also feed off of the water there and I just thought it's gonna be such a lovely probably like a very lovely sound like with water splashes etc I tried to put in like a fountain like several fountains actually to kind of create like a waterfall but they sound so off they sound like a fountain not really like like this slow waterfall so I deleted them. So there's no waterfall feature here because the sounds were off and it was putting me off. So I was like, okay, then rather not have that. Maybe you can add them. I mean, like all of my builds, you can, you know, just download them and do whatever you want with it. And then later, once I had the whole layout done and the dirt place where I'm going to put the plants on, I was like, okay, we have these foyer kind of wings to it on both sides. How about a cafe bar kind of situation? I love the whole cafe thing because I thought like my, you know, my sim that lives in the magical bookshop from my last video, they maybe go there and get like their coffee and eat the scones or like drink tea in the morning and stuff. I was like, that's so cute. That's really cute. Also, I've been to several cafes inside of these palm houses and like several botanical gardens and like castle parks and stuff. And I'm absolutely obsessed with that. So I was like, okay, we gonna, I need this in the Sims as well, you know, kind of live vicariously through my Sims a little bit and kind of relive that moment <laughs> myself you can set this to a cafe 
which is also why how I have uploaded this and I've play tested this even though sims are pretty dumb with like the cafe counter they can order stuff and they can get this stuff like they can the cashier barista guy will put it on a counter and then you can your symbol can grab it it doesn't look like it's supposed to but I think it has to do with the pack not working properly or like the sims just being generally not the smartest brightest candles on the cake you know so I was like, yeah, I mean, this is not my build. This is obviously the Sims' fault. <laughs> so yeah, once I had like the whole counter thing with the with the cafe done, I was like, okay, let's put in the p big plants first and make sure they don't stick through the roof. And yeah, so I, what I'm gonna use for most of these lush tropical plants is of course the palm trees. So lots of the palm trees are either Jungle Adventure, that's the one with the ivy on it, on the stem, or Island Living because they have the nicest palm trees. In my opinion, they look just absolutely great. If you just have base game, I think the base game ones are also great, but you know, with like several packs you just get I don't know more detailed plants in my opinion and I'm kind of plant obsessed especially with tropical plants I myself have like a banana palm I have different palms in my house as well so palm trees are quite cool <laughs> and also easy to tend to in my opinion so yeah so that's what I've been doing and after I've placed the bigger palm trees and made sure they don't stick out of the, you know, sides and like through the roofs, I was like, hey, we still need more kind of like lots of trees in there. So since we have these foyer wings to it, let's add two planters there as well. I mean, they're not accurate, like they're way too small for like trees that size and like all the lushness, etc. I know. But like this is the sim so i was not i was like i don't care <laughs> let's make it as unrealistic as possible i think this whole build is a little bit unrealistic but since we go for like this fantasy kind of victorian brightchester thing i was like yeah who cares this is the sims let's go and yeah and then i basically filled in all of the remaining planters around the water with lots and lots of these lower bushes. Some of them are actually even trees that are even sized down. So there are these tropical big lush bushes and I really really love that. I think it looks really really nice and overgrown. And then later I'm gonna put in this leafy water and that's basically the end to this whole build. There will be also a bar on the other side so that your sims can visit at night. But you can set it to a bar because there's no TV. You know the TV thing? I've, I think I've talked about the TV thing. There will be of course toilets downstairs in the basement and yeah so this is fully functional you can use this as your own botanical garden. That's basically the whole thing guys. I've uploaded this to the Sims 4 gallery for you to grab and I will also put the download link down below. And here are the top-down shots for those who want to rebuild this lot. If you need the tray files, you can find them on my Patreon, of course. Make sure to like, share and subscribe the video if you like this. And yeah, that's basically it. I want to thank you so, so much for watching. Enjoy the video tour now and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.